Two things I forgot to mention. Um, so this is the second part. It's, it's going to be the second watch thing. You watch part one, watch part two. Number one, that press any key to continue over there. It's not in the documentation. You have to write it yourself and add it. Number two, there are lots of typos that are going to get fixed. If you manage to submit your program with errors, spelling mistakes, and all those things before I fix it, fine, no problem. But when I fix it, then you have to do it with the fixed one. Okay, so make sure that the outputs match the submitter. When, the, when it's updated, you're going to see a new version coming up. And you had a question. Uh, the load data file uh, function, I'm still not too clear about like what the what we're returning, because it had a very specific wording with the return. Um, so let me bring the load, and we'll see what happens. So load. Oh, this is the one, load data file? OK. So uh, this function does not receive anything and returns a Boolean. Load data returns vehicle records from data file and saves them from the uh, corresponding parking spot. Yeah, right. okay. So, OK, so yeah. So what happens, it, again, it loads the rec uh, records from the vehicle and saves them in the parking spot. We explained that already. So that's fine. So you may use your own logic or follow this one, OK? So uh, implementation guidelines. So if parking uh, is not in an invalid state, using an instance of iStream class open opens the file named in a file name, so that's fine. We just open the file. If the opening of the file was not successful or parking was in, in an empty space, which means parking app is running for the first time, this function is a good state and we return what you are Oh, so, so what happens is that you open the file, the file is not there. You don't do anything. You just get out and return true. Yeah, because the, the parking is empty. Remember, when parking exits, it overwrites and saves all the data. The same file that you tried to open and you couldn't. So now it becomes available after that. The file that you could not open that didn't exist will exist after the function is the, the parking is done. OK, let's say the, the name of the file is SenecaParking.csv. OK, that's the name of data. And it, it's not on a hard disk. What happens? Your data file tries to open it. It cannot. It fails. Returns true, which means I'm fine. Your parking starts with all the spots available because nothing is filled, correct? Right. You enter five vehicles, park five vehicles. You exit the program without removing the, the thing. What happens? It opens SenecaParking.csv and writes all the information in it. That's in a safe. Oh. So after the first time you execute, the file will become available for the next execution. OK? So that was the one. OK? So let me just go through it. Maybe there's something else. In the constructor of parking? Keep it somewhere in the parking. If you don't, you have to validate the file name. So yeah, the you don't have to validate. If I don't, didn't ask to validate, don't. Again, this is an OP244 project. You are not creating an actually parking application. If you did, you, should, you would have had six months to do it, not three weeks. OK, so and it would be much more foolproof than what it is now. So many things would have been added to it, OK? So the things that I'm not mentioning, and I'm saying, and I'm not mentioning to validate, the things that I'm not telling you to check, they are all either tested in milestone one to four, which means will pass because you submitted those. That's why your submission is not accepted if you do not submit the first four. You must submit it even if they are super late. OK? Uh, so. Either that's the case, or I, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to test it because I'm going to give you a valid value. OK, so if I'm not asking you to validate certain thing, it means I'll give you a valid value. You don't need to worry about it. OK? So 
that's it. The rest is, uh, I explained, extract one character from the file. So that's the, uh, so, all right? So we know that, right? So all the, rec all the information in the comma separated value is created like this by design. So the things that, the, all the stuff that you, that you have by design are created like this. So when you write based on our design, automatically it will write with the identifier character at the beginning, but when you read, it reads from uh, the next record. It reads from the parking spot. So your read starts from parking spot, your write writes from the identifier. So when you write, it writes the identification, but reading won't do that. Anything else? Silence. Are we good? Are you okay? All right. So that's that. Yes. No. You read the first character and see. If it's C, you create a car and tell to car to read yourself. Car read, read the, the rest. When you read M, an M, there is an M, that's a motorcycle. Then what you do? You create a motorcycle and you say, read yourself. And that motorcycle will read itself and you keep the pointer in the vehicle. And you keep going like that. If it's not a C or an M, what happens? It means you have a corrupted file. Okay. That's when you return false. It means your file is bad. I'm not testing it, but that's what it is. Okay, so that's the, uh, an example of a bad thing. If you have an X over there, that's wrong. It's not supposed to be that. It means the file is not expected. How it's supposed to be. Anyways, so it's all there. There you go. Any questions? Any other questions? Okay, now I'm going to pause it. <laughs>